So in this video, I want to talk about ReZero Season 3 because I didn't talk about the initial movie length episode and I have a very, very large criticism for ReZero. It is a very big criticism. I'm totally not over-exaggerating for the sake of the video. My criticism is Subaru needs to take off his jacket. <laughs> I know, I know, you're like, what? What? You want him to strip? Yes, I want him to strip. God damn it, that first part of the first episode was like, my god boy, you, you're traumatizing me with that jacket on. He's running around, cracking the whip, and then he's sweating, and I'm like traumatized. I'm like, dude, you're reminding me of my karate practice when I have like three layers of clothes on because it's winter, and then I'm sweating like an absolute bucket load at the end of it, and I'm like, god, I wish I took off the singlet, or at least the shirt. And it's like, it just reminded me of that. I'm like, Subaru. Just take off some clothes. Yes, we've got some amazing assets from Amelia. I don't mind seeing some assets from Subaru. <laughs> I know, we've got assets for days in this series. But it's just one of those I just wanted to find a, throw a fun jab because when I did watch it, I kind of looked at it and I'm like, oh my God, just take the tracksuit off if you're gonna train. Like, I get that jacket is durable and it's also, I, when I mentioned about it online, people were like, oh, but it's his iconic outfit. And I'm like, dude, we all know who Subaru is. We don't need the jacket to be the thing that, oh, who is he? He doesn't have his jacket on. Like, where's Wally? We know who Subaru is. There's a point where I'm like, okay, he can take off the jacket while training and then put it back on. I just, <laughs> I also wonder how that, that outfit is so durable as well, because my God, that outfit is very, very doable. So durable. So there are two things I want to talk about. The first one is Beatrice and Subaru's relationship. I find their relationship to be very cute and innocent. I see it as a brother-sister duo combo. I know some people have kind of nitpicked at that and gone, oh, well, actually, it's more like a f father and daughter relationship. I find that weird, personally, myself, but it's like tomato-tomato. It's like, same difference. Who cares? I just personally like the brother-sister duo combo because it feels a little bit more innocent, and it just feels like, yeah, they're, they're like kind of like... Even though Beatrice is a different age because of who she is and being a spirit, it just kind of feels like they're like, you know... She's a younger sister, he's an older brother, he dotes on her and, you know, gives her all the attention and then she kind of comes in and goes, oh look, am I not the cutest little sister kind of thing in these or in that episode, the first one. I just think it's a much more innocent kind of mindset to have, even though some people will do the whole Oni-chan kind of thing. I'm like, I get that, but I just prefer that mindset. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you pick either. I, I saw some people like really nitpicking at that going, well, actually, it's like, no, I don't care. You, you, go, go to the corner, time out for you. But I don't see anything wrong with their relationship. I've seen some people try to push that, that there's some like weird relationship going on with Subaru and Beatrice. I'm like, no, no. He's just a very caring individual. He really wants to kind of make her life better and make her life more vibrant and more colorful and not be locked away in a library and miserable and lonely and especially from the first episode she was very bitter and angry and kind of didn't like him and second first season that is and then the second season their relationship developed a lot and now you've got the third season which is like the continuation that this kind of the building on that already good relationship so i personally really like that chemistry i do not see anything weird in it and i feel like people are kind of more projecting when they see something weird in that. The next thing I want to talk about is the movie length episode. And why I do believe movie length episodes for some animes is needed and some don't. I, I've i seen a lot of comments of people being like, oh, more anime should do movie length episodes. And I'm like, not every anime needs to do it. When you've got stuff like Fey Ran or Free Ran, you've got ReZero, even other series starting with M, having the T in there, I know it's 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 the, it's the name that shall not be named in the community, but there are a multitude of animes that I do believe can benefit from a movie length type episode, but if you're looking at some like normal rom-com anime, I'm just like, no, it doesn't need a movie length episode, but ReZero does, and it's simple, why? There's so many layers to the world, so many like complex things going on and it's not overly complex but there is some complexity to it where you've got a lot of political powers you've got a lot of characters you've got a lot of world building a lot of character dynamics so you've got the individual characters and what they're doing but then the characters and how they mesh together and i feel like the first episode did a great job at building all that up 
without it feeling too overwhelming, but I can understand why it could feel a little bit overwhelming. For me, I feel like it's one of those where you could watch twice and you get a little bit of extra information because there's a lot of, like, at certain points where characters are kind of having conversations, you're like, okay, there's some interesting, like, layers to this and you kind of want to sit there and absorb it all, so you kind of want to go for it bit by bit. So you watch it the first time like normal, then you go for it the second time and you kind of, like, go for it a little bit more analytically. And I think that's good. I think one of the things it also does really well is it doesn't excessive recap. I hate excessive recapping because in my mind, if you need to remember what the series is about, go rewatch the previous seasons. That's how I see it. I know some people use the excuse, oh, I don't have time to do that. I kind of question that when most of these people that say that they don't have time to rewatch animes and they spend six hours a day on like social media telling you that they don't have time to rewatch an anime, it feels more like you've just got a short attention span and you can't handle rewatching something, so you have to watch something new every time. So I don't believe that argument nine times out of ten because someone that doesn't have the time to rewatch something generally isn't spending time on social media telling me that they can't rewatch things, especially in videos. So that's just how I see it. And I just like the fact, like I said, ReZero doesn't overly excessively recap. It gives enough explanation, enough recapping to explain the current situation in the past and then add layers to the current like development going on. And so I like that. I like how it goes about that. There are some animes out there that I feel like they use recapping as a way to fill episodes up so they can cut on animation time, uh, budgeting. It's, it's all those kind of things of being like, oh, we have x amount of episodes but we want to like make 20 percent of it just excessive recapping and i'm it can range between like five to twenty percent some you know old power showmans used to do that excessively where like you'd have a 20 minute or 25 minute episode and like 10 minutes of it is just recapping but certain animes that i've watched recently do too much recapping and they do it you know they own the only reason why i'm sorry that they do the recapping is to pad the episodes out so they can turn a, a two-core season into two, three, four episodes of just recapping. And I'm like, no, we don't need that. Don't treat the audience like they're stupid. And I think one of the problems is, is that that gets worshipped because communities get too defensive. And that is an issue with the anime community, is too many anime communities are too defensive about their favourite series and can't handle any constructive criticism. And he can say, well, you kind of, you know, gushing over ReZero. But I'm like, oh, I've criticized ReZero before. I always balance my reviews with positives and negatives. But I just think excessive recapping does not help. It treats the audience like they're idiots. You use recapping as a way to explain the current context of the conversations. Like, for example, if Subaru is having a conversation with a character and they're needing to talk about the current situation that it is a continuation from a past event, they might give a, a little bit of a quick dot and point note of, oh yeah, that event from X, Y, and Z, like for example, Rem, where she's you know asleep and they kind of bring up the past of her relationship a little bit and then what led to her being in that situation. It doesn't need to be five minutes long of recapping. It can be 10 seconds, maybe a little bit more. But when you blow it out to five minutes, it's just, to me, it feels like you're treating the audience like they're idiots. And at that point, I'm like, okay, well then go re-watch the previous seasons. All episodes. That's just how I see it. I know it's a very controversial opinion, but I do feel like some content creators knee-jerk defend it because they're too scared that their audience will get angry at them for dare being critical of something. The difference between me and them is I do not let my audience dictate my opinion. I'm open to the discussion and open to having a diff changing my opinion, but I'm not going to be bullied into having an opinion all because I want to please a community. ReZero is one of those. Subaru, take your tracksuit off. I want to see those gains. Otherwise, 0 out of 10. Subaru needs to flex. So, I love, absolutely love the movie length episode. Though, as far as criticisms go, I could understand if some people felt that they felt overwhelmed. Because there's a lot of stuff going on. But, the comments of ReZero Season 3 movie length premiere feels like mostly filler, which I uh, had been linked of an article of that. I think that's just rubbish. You saying that that's filler is just absolute rubbish. That's just you saying that for clicks. 
because they did very minimal recapping and they did a lot of world building, a lot of character building, a lot of stuff was going on in those episodes. They jammed it with some good stuff and I really loved it. I loved the pacing, but I do feel like it's one of those where I can understand that you may need to watch it twice to really, even a third time, to really absorb all of what's going on because there is a lot of stuff that is happening in that episode that it's, it's, it's perspective. Like, I can understand why some. I myself watched it fine first time. I might watch it a second time just to get a kind of a grasp. But I generally watch a lot of animes multiple times just to kind of see if I missed anything. And just because I enjoy watching some animes multiple times. And ReZero is one of those. But I'm just saying that I understand if it can feel a little bit too much. Which I'm just saying, rewatch it again. Don't feel ashamed. Don't be bullied into feeling bad that, you know, you need to watch something twice just because there's a lot of stuff going on and maybe you got a little bit distracted at one point, you know, cat or a dog or a squirrel or a bird or whatever flies around and you're like, ooh, so you need to rewatch it. So absolutely love the episode. Love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. What would you rate Amelia's monoculars? 10 out of 10. I myself think they look miraculous. Looking forward to future episodes and where the story goes from there because I have not read beyond this point. I only read seasons one and two of the light novel material. So very excited to see where it goes. So again, if you like this video, hit the like, subscribe, and I'll see you beautiful nerds in the next video.